so hello everyone welcome again to this youtube channel so this is the sixth video of uh, the apply tools tutorial series so we have already made five videos so you can check them out and if you have any suggestion you can comment out in any of the video so this video is regarding the prerequisites and the configuration that is required before you get started with uh, apply tools so if you want to do visual validation in your uh, framework so what are the different uh, prerequisites you requires what are the different uh, methods that you have to use in your script so that you can do visual validation so let's get started so let's talk about the prerequisites and configurations that are required before you are getting started with apply tools so because i am doing it with java it's running with java so i have listed it accordingly so you need java installed in system for that you can check it using java hyphen version command then you should have maven installed in system if you want to write from command line okay then you should have any existing framework if you have or you can create a new java project maven project and then you have to add apply tool ice dependency additionally other dependency that are already required that's any dependency or web driver manager dependency but additionally for apply tools specifically you have to add apply tools i dependency in the pom xml okay so now on apply tools side you would need apply tools account so for that you can sign up on apply tools website and uh, they gave a free account trial account as well and they have paid account as well so we can get started with free one to get into the basics of apply tools uh, visual testing and for the pricing you can refer to this link let me open this so I have opened a pricing page of apply tools okay so let's see so so you can open a free account on apply tools and uh, it is giving 100 checkpoints per month and it will be free forever and if you buy if you want to buy any other plans so it's it's mentioned here they have starter plan enterprise plan and the cost plans so although they have not mentioned uh, uh, the price exactly so you can simply contact them i think they would get back to you with all the pricing as well so these all are feature that they are giving in all these plans so let's get back to the presentation so now we have apply tools account and why would we need apply tools account what is the reason the only reason is that we requires apply tools api key that's listed here in third point so we need this apply tools api key so this is unique for every apply tools account to interact our selenium script with apply tools server so that's why we require apply tools account okay so let's get started how we can get started with apply tools after all the prerequisites and configuration so now let's get started with how we can add visual validations in existing automation framework or in existing script automation script okay so obviously before that you have to have the prerequisites that we have discussed that we should you should have a dependency of apply tools ice okay so once you have that you you have to initialize the instance of you have to create an instance of ice class okay then you have to set api key so that that was the reason that we requires apply tool account because we need api key so that we can interact with apply tool server via our script okay so here you have to set the api key okay so now after that so you after setting api key you have to use i dot open method so in this open method you can clearly see that we have different arguments first is you have to pass the driver second is app name whatever application is under test you have to put the name here then window name or the page name you can say like lock in main main page you have to put the name uh, page name here and then uh, rectangle size it, it's uh, viewport size the screen size that it is going to capture so you can mention it here and once this open method is uh, called so after this apply tools will start observing closely the test script okay so then after that you simply navigate to the application under test whatever application you are working on you you have to navigate to that okay so then after that you have eyes dot check window method this is visual checkpoint at this point it is going to capture a screenshot and obviously login page is just a tag 
so you, you can skip skip this as well so you don't need to mandate it's not mandatory that you have to provide it here okay so after that simply we are ending the test case so i dot close so guys this is mandatory you have to close the test that that then what then only it is going to capture the screenshot then driver dot quit and then is then there is one more method i dot abort if not closed method so if test is still running it is going to abort it otherwise it will do nothing so these were the simplest method that you requires if you want to add visual validation in your script so these are the basic methods that you would require so in this video we are going to cover up to this only so i hope you like the video if you have any suggestion please write it out in comment so that we can improve it in next time so thank you very much